Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to a brand new Clash of Clans video and today I just recorded an entire video and I realized my mic was muted. That is a big L. Can we get some Fs in the chat please? But that is actually so unfortunate. We did a couple raids. We upgraded some stuff. I used um, a book to... We upgraded our bullets to level 3. We upgraded our hero spell to max and then uh, we we're going to start our miners. We used... Uh, we upgraded like 3 or 4 walls and we used all of our gold, all of our elixir and I went through my attack log which I was gonna show you the best place to farm. Anyways, before we get into this video, I wanted to say, let's see if we can smash 65 likes on today's video, and uh, let me know down below in the comment section, what's your favorite Clash of Clans troop? Um, that is so unfortunate that I was muted. I'm really upset. We just had a solid video. But anyways, um, I wanted to talk about the best place to farm as a Town Hall level 11, which um, I originally was up in like uh, Champions League, like 3,500 trophies farming. My stream told me to drop down to like Crystals League, uh, to be honest, I found myself finding the better bases in like lower level Masters League around 2600 to 2700 trophies Even down below to 2500 trophies. There's dead bases Everywhere and you only have to search one or two times to find the dead bases. It's insane um, But yeah, I'm probably gonna play the content of me spending all of my elixir and gold and a couple books to go through my factory And a couple of walls. I've done all of these walls all these level 12 walls you guys see I've done them all in one week. That is how insane farming down here really is. There's just dead bases everywhere. But uh, yeah, as I said, if you guys do enjoy the content, make sure to drop a like. Let's see if we can smash 65 likes today. Also, um, let me know what your favorite Clash of Clans troop is. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications to be notified every single day that I post a video. And uh, yeah, I don't know how you guys would feel about this, but I was thinking of maybe posting two videos a day. Maybe one video on the night village, then one video on our regular village, and uh, see how that goes. But anyways, we're going to attack. As you guys can see, the loot here is absolutely insane. 688,000 gold, 500,000 gold, 500,000 gold, 700,000 gold. You see these 500,000 golds? That's nothing compared to what you can get. The thing is, those bases pop up as the first base, and I feel so guilty. I'm like, I have to attack it. It's a dead base, 500,000 gold. Um, but 700,000 gold, 600,000 elixir, 500,000 gold again. 100,000 gold just dropping my queen as I'm trying to drop trophies. Another 53,000 gold of me um, just dropping trophies. 500,000 gold, 700,000 gold, 700,000 elixir, 500,000 of each. 745,000 gold, 600,000 gold, 500,000 gold, 700,000 gold, 600,000 gold, and another 700,000 gold. And the dark elixir, as you can see, is insane, even though um, my dark elixir storage was full. That's kind of why I didn't go for any dark elixir. Um, but yeah, in the beginning of this video, I maxed out my uh, bowler. Maxed out my heal spell that I'm gonna be saving for the miner and upgraded a couple walls I'll probably play that on the screen. Anyways, let's go ahead and search I want to show you guys how easy it is to find bases You do not have to search within the first like three to five clicks three to five searches look boom That's the second one. We found a dead base 400,000 and 300,000 Honestly, I like to find a way higher base. I'm gonna go ahead and skip that but as you can see dead bases are everywhere which is kind of sad because that means that somebody quit the game and all their hopes and dreams of Clash of Clans have died. <laughs> but um, it's good for us because we get easy, easy, easy loot. Boom! What did that take? Like, what, five searches? 760,000 gold, 838,000 elixir, and almost 5,000 dark elixir, which is kind of insane. This base is a little bit tougher to get to the loot because his, I don't know, his loot is like in the weird spots. And he does have an eagle artillery, which is unfortunate. But we should be able to get most of the loot. I'm gonna take out his archer towers and then go in and actually drop a couple more loons. Going with minions to take out as much loot as I possibly can. Um, gonna take out that archer tower. We should be able to get pretty much all this loot. Take out that archer tower as well. And we should be able to get in and get almost all of this loot. I'm gonna wait a little bit to uh, drop the rest of my balloons because um, I don't wanna I don't wanna wake up that eagle artillery before I can get the rest of these collectors taken care of with my minions. The eagle artillery is still close, which is good. And we'll go in maybe with our heroes to get the bottom right hand corner. Uh, but I still have 13 balloons and <laughs> 20 archers. Should have absolutely no problem getting uh, all that loot and taking care of it. Hopefully these minions go for the gold storage instead of the king. Alright perfect. I mean gold mine. My bad. Um they did one of them went for the king, but luckily there was a smart minion that said, I'm going to get the gold, sir. Um, so we're going to get that gold as well as the dark elixir. I'm going to wait, let them clean that up a little bit before dropping the rest of my balloons to go in for the bottom right-hand corner of this village and get uh, pretty much the rest of the loot. This is insane, dudes. 
You guys have no idea how crazy it is farming down here. You can fill your uh, gold storage and elixir storage and dark elixir storages so quickly, max out your base very, very quickly. Like I said, I've been like cruising through everything lately. I'm gonna drop almost all my minions as well as, I'm gonna go ahead and drop my heroes now just to uh, start clearing all this loot. Uh, let my king break into the wall. My queen shoot shoot some stuff over the wall. King will tank some damage as well. Uh, keep our minions alive. Our archers alive as well. Uh, gonna go ahead and pop the king's ability right now. Just because we pretty much got all the loot. We're gonna go ahead and end the battle. Boom. Right there. First attack of the day. 661,000 gold. 720,000 elixir. And 3,000 dark elixir. Insane. Absolutely insane. So um, I'm going to go ahead and cook a couple armies. We're going to attack a couple more times in this video. Uh, my best strategy that I have right now is balloons, archers, and minions. You could usually pick off all the dead bases you want. As you guys saw, we just crushed through that base and got as much loot as we possibly can, as easily as possible. And uh, usually I boost my barracks 30 gems for an hour, and not too bad. But uh, this army usually only takes about like 21 minutes, I believe. So uh, yeah, not too bad. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and make an army, and I'll be back with you guys in a couple seconds. Alright guys, we are back, and because the beginning of the video was so scuffed because I accidentally um, recorded the beginning with my mic muted, I decided we'd save up some uh, golden elixir so I could do a couple upgrades for you guys towards the end of the video. But anyways, we're going to go attack probably another two times. Um, should be pretty fun. I want to show you guys how easy it is to find bases. Like, my attack log, I'll show you guys my attack log in like just a second after this uh, next attack, but it is actually insane how freaking easy it is to farm down here i fill up my storages like that so i just boosted my barracks like 15 minutes ago and i'm already at 7 million gold and 7 million um let's see actually no like 30 minutes ago but like i fill my storages pretty much like look at this 600k of each dead base i fill my storages every boost every boost i do like an hour playing every hour i pretty much get 10 million 10 million which is kind of crazy to think about also uh, maxed out 200,000 dark elixir i meant to record it but i forgot um, I upgraded my golems to max level, so that should be exciting to unlock those bad boys, because I do, you guys know I love golems. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, I don't really know how I want to attack this. We're just going to go ahead and take out all the arch towers like normal. But this base is a little interesting. It's a little bit different than normal. So um, hopefully we're going to get to everything fairly easily. This guy definitely made it a little bit hard to get to what I want to get to, though. That's the problem with bases that have all their stuff on the side, it's like so tough to get to what I want to get to. Of course he has a freaking Tesla out in the middle of nowhere, dude. What the freak? What the heck, man? Oh, this is actually an epic fail. This is an epic fail. Oh, we're gonna be able to get that gold mine. We're gonna get all this gold and elixir. Hmm. I'm gonna go with my heroes in the bottom to get everything else. Got lava in. You know what? Let's go. Let's go lava hound. And uh, this should be good enough to take out the rest of this. We'll get this whole top compartment as well as this bottom compartment. Thanks to that lava hound. I didn't realize that I even had a lava hound in my clan castle. That actually came in really, really handy. Thankfully. I'm gonna go ahead and hopefully get the rest of this uh, elixir and dark elixir. I'm probably not going to get all of it yet, yeah, definitely not. But I'm going to go through the bottom half of the base and get... Right, you know what? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go with my Barbarian King there and my Archer Queen right here. And um, they should be able to... They should be able to get to both the... She should be able to get the elixir storage and or the elixir collector and the dark elixir collector. And he already got the other elixir collector, which is nice. Uh, boom, I'm gonna let her get that elixir collector. Boom. Whoa! Took a little bit of strategy towards the end there. That was actually the hardest dead base I've ever had to attack. <laughs> that base was dead, but the defenses were really weirdly laid out. But thankfully we ended up getting five hundred thousand of each and almost six thousand dark elixir. Which is uh, very, very nice. But anyways, as you can see, my attack log, 500,000, 500,000, 600,000, 400,000, 500,000, 500,000. Like, the loot is insane. You guys, you guys get it. Within the past 57 minutes, we've gotten 500, 1 million, 2 million, 3 million, 4 million, 5 million gold from the past 
uh, 41 minutes. I could have done more, but um, I was too busy trying to set up my recording. So I actually missed out on probably like three attacks that I could have done, which could have been an extra like 1.5 million. But um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and wait for our army to get ready again. And um, we'll be back in a couple seconds. We're going to do some upgrades. As I said a little bit earlier, um, I upgraded my golems to max level. I meant max level for my town hall level, of course. I believe that should be max level, level 7. Um, but uh, yeah, so that'll be done hopefully soon. Then I'm also going to be upgrading my uh, other army camp as well as some walls. You'll love to see the wall upgrades, boys. I've done all of these walls this freaking week, which is kind of insane. Kind of insane. Am I crazy for doing that many walls that quick? Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get all of my uh, troops ready, and I'll be back with you guys in a couple seconds. All right, our army is ready, and we are ready to attack. I probably should request some troops because we did need them the last attacks I can use them for next attack. Should be perfect. Uh, all of our heroes are ready to go. I actually was a little bit worried that my heroes need to oh my goodness dude see how easy it is to find these bases it's actually way easier to uh way easier to attack with uh barch like barbarians and archers um because you just spread around the base but i just like having that extra little bit of um security when i am attacking these bases because sometimes you'll find those bases actually not sometimes pretty often you'll find those bases that have a million loot of each and you need to get to the storages as well as the collectors and that's why i like using uh Lunion. Because you're actually able to get the storages and the collectors when you do use this attack strategy. Where, like, Barge, you're only really able to, like, realistically get the co uh, collectors around the outside of the base. So, it's nice to have uh, an army like this that you can actually use in multiple different situations. Use them in multiple different situations and, uh, yeah, you could take out a lot more bases, get a lot more loot. Which is always nice. Who doesn't love more loot, you know? Never heard, never heard somebody complain about getting more loot. Never in my life <laughs> have I complained about, about getting more loot. But it does make you attack a little bit slower. So, like, I know. It, the army only takes an extra four minutes, which, like, if we're being honest here, an extra four minutes to be able to attack a much better base is worth it. <laughs> in my opinion, at least. You guys might have a different opinion, but that's my opinion. And it's fairly easy to get the 50% with this army. Like, every single time, I, I get the 50% every single time, easily. Um, a lot of times I often get the two star as well, but uh, I just get it for the league bonus because I end up dropping trophies anyways So I could stay at this trophy range. So uh, boom. Let's see how much that we ended up getting 500,000 500,000 2700 dark elixir and then uh, the league bonus looking pretty pretty solid Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching Let me know if you guys are town hall 11s and you guys are out there farming maxing out your base um, Let me let me know what trophy range you guys are at because maybe I could try that trophy range um, and maybe it'll be a lot better for me. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade this wall. Upgrade this wall as well. Boom, two walls done and a little army camp. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. If you guys aren't already subbed, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications to be notified every single time that I do uh, post a video, which is every day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Much love everybody and peace.